Hey guys, welcome back to Kim My Reaction. How are you guys doing today? Hi. This is going to be something short and sweet regarding the frame in Britney Spears and Holo. And yes, I've watched it recently with two friends of mine. And most of the information in within that documentary was new, new to me, except the one about the conservatorship. And um, when she attacked the paparazzi and shaved her head. I'm just going to say, watching the documentary gave me more detail into the story. One person commented on one of my videos on the Britney Spears basically saying that I was basically, where was I when all this stuff happened? I was here. It's just that pop culture, me, um, pop culture entertainment was not really a big deal in my household. And then one person said, oh, you know, mental issue and stuff like that. Um, I've mental issue and awareness where i'm from in my household is talked about it's just that the stuff that was going on outside in the entertainment and media wasn't such a big deal or part impact part of my life until i went into college basically when i start to keep up with these celebrities and what they're doing and then i, I heard about the britney spears story where she shaved her head where um when she attacked the paparazzi and the video documentary i watched i saw the detail how everything conspired i mean transpire you know she was going through a tough patch her her thieving ass ex-husband federline Ugh, god ugh, jesus when I, ugh, by looking at the picture i was like oh he's looking for a quick box that's just me mm -hmm. And he didn't want her to see her. Um, he didn't want her to see her two kids. That caused her to stress the hell out. Then she had to deal with her dad. That caused her to stress out. And then, then she already opened up to the paparazzi because she was such a sweet girl. And they overstepped their boundaries. And they keep following her everywhere. So she spiraled and attacked the car and shaved her head. To me, the reason why I think she shaved her head, it was like you know maybe maybe because if, if I shave my head, they would leave me alone. They probably think I'm a hug maybe that that was just some thoughts that was going through my head but people still was nagging at her nagging at her the paparazzi i blame the fans too i'm sorry i blame the fans i blame the mom i blame the dad i blame the sister i blame entertainment i blame the news i blame everyone because one thing i learned coming here into america america can build you up and while they build you up to the highest regard at the highest level of success they will tear you down also so i blame everyone and by watching this i really do hope the best for britney and i'll always say that 2008 and up that's the britney i know 2007 and below i don't know that britney i try to go back to that britney oops baby again one more time i'm a slave for you that not really my type of speed but the new songs Except the Blackout album. Oh, I live for that album. Oh, I live for that album. Basically, I just want to say, um, Britney Spears, I wish you the best, sweetheart. I really do wish you the best. I wish you could get out this conservatorship that your dad have over you so he could collect your money because he's broke. And Federline too, they're broke knuckers. Broke. Broke. Ugh, nothing pissed me off than a, ugh, when a leash trying to come after you. Ugh, nothing pissed me off than a leash leeches like cockroaches after this woman and her money roaches Ugh. but anywho but yes i watched a documentary and it gave me a very good in-depth insight of what was going on with britney spirit that i don't know of so um i i don't know what else to say to wish her the best and i hope she could get over this get out of this it is crazy but I'm still, um, this documentary also made me wonder it's on her medical record that when she had, um, when she decided to have that lawyer represent her and the judge told him no, based off the medical record that I have in front of me, which I can't disclose to you due to HIPAA, you can't, she is not competent enough to choose you to be her representative lawyer. And then when she did her Vegas um, residency, the dad went in and said he won one point, what, five or seven percent more. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. This is all I can say about this. Britney girl. Oof. They can make you and break you. <laughs> That's one thing I learned about moving to America. They can make you or break you. So sad. 
I'm so sorry, Brittany. That's all I gotta say. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, like I said over and over, who can do you besides you? Bye. I'm done.